Good morning and time for another video. Today we are doing meatloaf in our crock pot and Jacob's going to help me this morning. So for this one you will need um, one pound of ground beef. I just buy the one pound packs from Costco but you can use anything you want. And the actual recipe calls for two pounds so if you wanted to double everything, you could totally do that. Just one pound is enough for me and my family, so that's what we do. You'll need one egg, a half a cup of milk, three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, and then the actual recipe calls for one ounce of dry onion soup mix. I don't like that, so I don't use that. I just use my own seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, stuff like that. Um, so that's up to you. You can use your own seasonings or the one ounce of the dry onion powder, onion soup powder. And then um, I like to have, the recipe does not call for um, tomato sauce, but I like tomato sauce. So I add about a tablespoon of tomato sauce to the mixture and then I kind of top my meatloaf up, off with the meatloaf as well. And then you'll need foil too. So we'll get started. I'm gonna bring this down. The egg is already in here so that I didn't have to crack it and get my hands dirty again. And then you'll just add the milk, which you could do. Just the whole thing? Yep, just pour it all in there. There we go. And breadcrumbs? The whole thing? Yes, sir. Perfect. That's a lot. And then we'll do tomato sauce. You got it? Yep. Okay. And then you want to grab a spoon from down below and mix it up for mommy. And in the meantime, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. I don't measure. I just kind of mix. I also have an Italian seasoning that I'm adding. Mind your way. Hmm? This one makes meatloaf. Yes, sir. Uh, I always try to go careful with the garlic powder. There we go. And <coughs> get some. Okay. And we're gonna toss our meat in there. Watch out real quick, sir. You don't want me to take over? Yes, no, I can. Don't do anything. Smells. What do I do, Mom? Um, Mom's gonna do it. I gotta uh, use my hands. Shit, I'm gonna pull one from the other side. That's fine. Alright, so. Set this off to the side. Put that in the sink for me, please. Awesome, yeah. thank you. And you're just gonna kind of mix it all up. Can you get the foil out for mommy, please? This? Foil. The dark blue. All right, and then once it's mixed, we are going to yeah. line our crock pot with foil. And I'll show you in just a second once I get this completely mixed. Um, just, that's fine, just set it off to the side, please. Okay, so now we are going to take our crock pot. I just have mine outside of the thing. Where's the foil? I need that, please. And you're going to take a piece that's big enough to go inside the crock pot and then up and out on the edges because you're going to use that almost like a, a handle to just pick your, your meatloaf up. I didn't really think it would work the first time I tried it, but it really did, so it was kind of cool. Um, and then you're just going to throw your meatloaf in there. You're going to form it. You want to try to keep it from touching the edges. And that's it. You just throw it on low for six hours or high for three. I'm throwing mine on low because I'll be gone all day. 
and then when you get back, it's ready to go. I usually throw a little bit of pepper jack cheese on it or cheddar cheese, just because my family and I like the cheese on it. But once again, this is all what works for you and for your family. So adjust things as you need to. It's just a quick, easy meal to make when you're on the go. Bye, guys. Want to say bye? Bye.